Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello and welcome back to the channel where today I have some very exciting news from here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed 2022. We've got a rather lovely lineup of Ferraris behind me here, some Ferrari Romas, some 296 GTBs, but it wouldn't be a Goodwood Festival of Speed without announcing at least one future Shmi mobile, one incoming car to the garage. And I am very, very excited to say that I have popped down a deposit and placed an order for the new Ferrari 296 GTS. Today I'm actually going to be hopping on board a GTB for a run up the hill climb to tell you all about it, what I'm thinking in terms of specification, when it might be arriving, is anything going to be leaving the garage, why I've chosen to add another Ferrari to the collection. There is so much to talk about on a very exciting day here at Goodwood. So let's have a quick look around some of the magnificent examples behind me here. Then we're going to head straight over to the paddock, the supercar paddock, ready to hop on board a 296 GTB for a rather exciting run up the Goodwood hill climb. How about this for a view then? The Romas plus these three matching examples of the 296 GTB with the Assetto Fiorano, the Fiorano pack, all with the yellow over the gray, and then this, which is naturally right up my street and maybe give some ideas for spec. We'll touch on that in a moment. We've got the main body color in TDF, Tour de France blue. We've got the silver over the top for the Assetto Fiorano livery. And of course, we've got the silver wheels. This is a lovely looking thing. Now I drove the 296 not all that long ago at the media launch out in Spain on the roads and on the track and thought it was instantly incredible. It's a surprisingly different car to my SF90 Stradale and do not fear, I am not going to be selling my SF90. That is certainly staying in the Schmimobiles. But it's one of the reasons why I've opted to go opposed to the Berlinetta, the Coupe, but for the Spider instead to add a degree of difference. Although, of course, this car has this Piccolo V12, the 2.9 or technically 3 litre V6, the twin turbocharged hybrid setup that produces well over 800 horsepower but this example looks stunning with all of the silver accents against the blue with the Assetto Fiorano so we'll touch a bit more on the spec we've got the Koyo tan interior as well but I think we actually need to head straight on through so that we don't miss our opportunity for the hill climb run so let's get over there to a very highly tailor-made car to go and take a look at that this is the car in question for today then here in the supercar paddock alongside we have the Roma the 8 tour Competizione the Monza we'll see all of those when we head on out but you will notice this is in a fairly distinct livery. This is actually a heritage nod to the original racing livery worn by the Ferrari cars back at the time that Maranello Concessionaires started selling them here in the UK. And in fact, this is the very same registration that was actually worn by the media cars back at the time. It has been around for many decades. So we have the Rosso Corsa paint with this distinct baby blue factory painted livery. Of course, this is the design for the Assetto Fiorano, the Fiorano pack that you have on the car, which is very reminiscent of the design worn by the likes of the 250 the LM back at the time in exactly this color scheme. The wheels, of course, have been completed to match. And have a look at the interior of this, just to pop it open so I can show you some of the details inside here, which is just extraordinary. We have the baby blue leather for the carbon fiber bucket seats. We have the matching H pattern with the Tricolore, the green, white, and red in the center for your controls and toggles down there. Even the power lines around the outside of the shift paddles, the details on the dashboard. It is a lovely, lovely interior with the carbon fiber LED the driver zone. You can see in the GTB you have a little bit of storage behind the seats. But we'll talk a lot more about this and all the carbon fiber trim and carbon fiber door cards which are part of the Assetto Fiorano when we're on the move very shortly. For the time being as you can see it is packed here in the supercar paddock. We can swing around this way with the SF90 Spider, the SP38 Debra, the XX program cars, the 599 and the FXXK Evo. So yes it is heaving, it is very hard to get around, but I'm looking forward in a moment to getting this started up. Cameron Davis will be at the wheel and we'll head out and hopefully be able to see some of the other cars and experience more of this and tell you more about what's made me go for the 296 GTS. Engines are running, it is time to get this started. So we can take a listen. That's so cool the way it wires up on the hybrid system. That 2.992cc engine trying to take a step inside here. We're being ushered out. Cameron, how are you doing? How are you good? Yeah, you? Very good. Very much looking forward to this. You've been doing a few runs in the 296? Done a few already, yeah, which I'm very looking forward to a few more. Yeah. It's very quick, a very effortless way to get up the hill climb. As the 599XX Evo cruises past. What a car. Not bad, hey? Yeah. <laughs> what a lineup from Ferrari here. So we're going with full harnesses today. We are indeed, yeah. And full. this is the set of Fiorano. We've got everything full matching harness one. spec. 
I've got my buckle done up behind my back, just working that out as I go, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is where if I had the camera pointing the other way, people would be looking at me kind of yeah. awkwardly kind of <laughs> squeezing myself in, but I'm managing, I'm getting there. Got one in, Let me try and get the uh, other one from just here, as I think we're about to have the um, FXX going past, maybe. The crowd is certainly <laughs> spread to the sides. There it goes indeed, magical. It's amazing how many people are here today actually. This is absolutely packed. The spider has popped the roof down. What will we be driving up in? What are we allowed to do? I think race mode is race probably mode. always the best, yeah. It's, uh, it's the quickest way in the Ferrari now. Yeah. It's doing so much for us. This is super busy. Thousands. My car is lurking just there. <laughs> oh, that's nice. chiming because I haven't done my seatbelt up properly. Right, yeah, we're not we, quite on the circuit. Yeah, we come to a stop just up here in front of us. <laughs> Behind the FXX cave over <laughs> Perfect. That's what we like. The fun of this holding pen, where basically they pull all of the cars ready for the hill climb runs, is just extraordinary. The lineup of cars as we come through. I mean, we've got the Pagani Huayra R and the new Huayra Codalunga. We've got the Hennessy Venom F5, we've got the 599XX and the FXXK, both Evos, in fact, derivatives. The SF90 Spider, obviously the SF90, mine is at home at the moment. We've got the lovely 812 Competizione, absolutely mesmerized by this car, really cool. Then we've got the 296, we've got the Roma, and if I try and squeeze on by as well, we get down this way to where the Monza SP2 is parked behind the mad Zenvo TSRS. Down here with mine being over on the stage, and we've got the Koenigseggs, Yesco Absolute, Yesco Attack, we've got the Regira. It's always just unbelievable to see this. Down that away, we've got the Gordon Murray T50, we've got the Aston Martin Valkyrie, the McLaren Speedtail, so many epic hypercars forming this incredible line. And very shortly, once they've had us all lined up, we're going to be hopping on board here for the run up the hill a quick look through the engine bay here one thing that's really nice about this and on the spider it retains that you can actually still see there is a window unlike some models that actually lose the window which is a really nice part of the design and it continues with this floating rear edge basically the design like that of the older dino the entry baby ferrari you could say but believe me when you put the power down in here it is not a baby car the way the hybrid system combines with the v6 to give you 830 horsepower putting it down with no questions asked and in a very fun way that's one of the things they keep calling it fun to drive and the character of the car is very very fun i look forward to driving one again but at the moment we'll wait a little bit longer and it'll be time to head up the lane to the right of us is going that 812 sounds fantastic so we're going to get a bit of a moving motor show here zembo tsrs goes by we're going to be heading out behind the fxxk evo which is going to be absolutely fantastic monza sp2 <laughs> Thank goodness for them, it's not raining at the moment. It probably will be a little bit later on, but not for the time being. Got the Koenigsegg Regera, deep grumbly burbles from that. What's next? The Eden Green Zaklat comes through. The Hispano Suiza Carmen, unusual car coming through. I'm trying to catch a glimpse in the mirror of what we've got next. I'm gonna wait and see. We've got some McLaren's Artura, silently rocking its E-Drive. We can do that, plus we've got a hundred and something horsepower more. <laughs> <laughs> McLaren Speedtail with that paint fade. Three seat hybrid McLaren followed by the Golf Heritage 720S with the Golf livery. Next, the McLaren P1. Sounding good, followed by the 765LT Spider. Who's who of the supercars? Singer DLS. Gordon Murray T50, <laughs> GT2 RS MR, that's the Nürburgring record car, the one that was driven for the fastest lap. And there go the Bugattis, Andy Wallace at the wheel of the 300 plus, Chiron Super Sport, followed by the Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse WRC, followed by, in the mirror, the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, both of these 1200 horsepower cars, oh, into handling mode, spoiler coming up, the orange paint underneath. Pierre Henri Raffanel at the wheel of the Supersport. One of only five. Awesome. 
Goodness. That made me jump. <laughs> that made me jump a lot. It's hard not to though, isn't it? <laughs> But even though you know it's coming, yeah. and now we can no longer hear that we are turned on, but we're running yeah. in qualifying mode. We certainly are. Maximum Race attack. Mode. Yeah. Race, we've basically got full battery, and we are good to roll out. Roll on through the paddock and onwards. I love that we're going to be following that off the line. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be crazy loud. Two very different Ferraris. <laughs> There's normally some secret stuff lurking in these places. It's the only time an FXX K Evo goes over a speed bump. <laughs> Coming around to line up. All that away. More of the cars. Three point turn for the FXX K. Sounds bad. Start line is down that way. We roll past the full line that we've just seen going past up. us. This is a huge batch. Well, the Bugattis are all there. The Aston. We're warming up our tyres with the Canning Sex coming towards us. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Aston Martin Valkyrie and it's gearbox wine. That thing just looks insane. I went up the hill in one last year. Wow. This lineup is just ridiculous. AMG One. Remax C2 concept, it's now called Navira. DBS, Valkyrie. Jeez. GT track series. Turbo noise there, it's cool. Van Schneider at the wheel. <laughs> Look at this. Tag Turbo, Lanzante V1 GTR 18. Pops flames on the ship. Yeah. No pressure. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Wait for the moment and then. Nice. Oh, that's fast. up and carries and keeps going because obviously you have the torque fill with electric motors and like it's, it's just brutally fast yeah, it's so drivable though it's yes. just very intuitive to drive as well which is amazing well i'm not gonna lie on cold tires when we went into t1 i was a bit like this is a bit quick <laughs> yeah really i oh, know it's all right i'm glad we got a safe pair of hands at the wheel <laughs> right who was that <laughs> <laughs> oh, mayhem crazy the usual hypercar chaos at the top of the hill climb. I'm going to maneuver my way through here to check out this Daytona. Ferrari yup running at the yellow Daytona SP3 up the hill. Two Pagani's at the front as opposed to the red one that's down in the paddock. So it's great to see that. I think it's Giallo Modena. I think it's the paint color. Absolutely obsessed with this car. Naturally aspirated V12, removable target roof panel. Amazing thing. And then we have Giallo Triple Strato on the SF90 Spider, the triple layer. You see the two colors and compare some of the differences, really. Yeah, mega thing. We get the wing demo. Okay, that's the TSRS wing is running. It transpires that that was quite the Bugatti run. We've got the Chiron, the two Veyrons. Chiron Thurspore has come through. That looks like a Chiron, is that 110 years? Yes, the Saint Dison of Bugatti, followed by a Devo, followed by another Chiron, 
not a bad turnout. Wow, that's cool to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Bugattis in a row coming up there with the Devo, followed by the pace cars. Amazing. It's time for everybody to get moving. Code Alunga is off, Venom F5 is off, the Lotus Avaya is there as well. Lime Green Avaya. We've got the Huayra R, we've got the Speed Tail. Not allowed to stand too close. The Monza SP3 rolls out. All of the cars. My goodness, we need to get lined up here. This is obviously very loud for the uh, onwards leg. Just paradise, Valkyrie. Yeah, all of the world's best cars in one place. Cruising back down in electric drive. Yeah, <laughs> just enjoying yeah. the two characters <laughs> of the car. Exactly. It's fun that when you've had it in qualifying, it's always got a full battery. Yeah. And right now, you can see the charge graphic showing us the state of charging. It'll be quite fun having a spider to drive full electrically roof down. It would, wouldn't it? I like the idea of that. It's a great idea. It's going to be a good Apart one. From, from the flint wall, you've got to have some uh, sound. <laughs> the way it blips in. Yeah, it's very seamlessly changes. Yeah, isn't it? nice high pitch sound as well. I've got my passenger display that I didn't have on, but we've got the G-forces, we've got the uh, rev counter. <laughs> that is so fast! Isn't it fast? <laughs> the pickup! <laughs> I, I just didn't expect it. Did you know? I know, it's got a bit of heat in there, so it's got plenty of grip. It's amazing to go past the house. <laughs> <laughs> DBS and the V12 Vantage are not going to have many tyres left. That, that's quite a good burnout, to be fair to them. That was done quite well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty busy back down here as we return to the supercar paddock where I need to update a little bit more about the plans, what I'm thinking in terms of the 296. And we've got a few examples of things to have a look at as we uh, get into here in just a moment. All right, Deborah goes by. Thank you again. Thank you. That was awesome fun, appreciate it a lot. Now that we've made it back to the paddock, we need to talk about a few things then with the inbound GTS. First question, I'm sure you're wondering, timeline. So Ferrari 296 GTB launched last year. First customer cars have now been delivered in some countries. The UK always follows a little bit after the right-hand drives. The GTS has only just been introduced which means there will be a little bit of a wait and I'm not going to be the first customer to take delivery of one. I think deliveries will start in around 12 months, 12, 15 months. So let's assume second half, late 2023. It's a fairly long wait, but it's going to be a really exciting process. Now the process involves obviously going through the spec and there are a few things I'm thinking about it and I might have alluded and teased a little bit in a very recent video in the USA as to a potential idea for the exterior and interestingly that exterior we've got to watch out for whatever's rolling on through now could match quite well with a black charcoal style interior so we're thinking about that kind of idea for the time being as the Monza just cruises on through <laughs> you know you're cool when you're driving something like that through the supercar paddock but yes that was obviously a lot of fun going up with this. Um, hope to get behind the wheel of a 296 GTS at some point before too long to be able to share a little bit more about it all and then to hopefully bring you guys through the spec process. Probably won't be quite as extreme as the whole setup on this with the contrast in colour and the Assetto Fiorano. And I think, to be honest, like with my SF90, probably not the Assetto Fiorano. It's a car to use, a car to drive. The 296 has a little bit more usability in the SF90 because you have some storage up front. You have the front up there to, to pop stuff away. But in general, you know, the open air experience, what's not to love about an open air experience? And having the coupe two-seater Ferrari and the spider two-seater Ferrari amongst other Ferraris in the collection sounds like an absolute winner to me. For now though, that is all. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Cameron and the team here at Ferrari for the ride up the hill at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. And thank you as always to you guys for being part of it. As I said, we can't let a Goodwood Festival of Speed go by without announcing a new Shamima beer. And this time around, it is the Ferrari 296 GTS. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.